Give the open hearts and thank you for being here at the Shell Energy. I stopped by today to check with you about September. Uh, I stopped doing the, you know, monthly forecast type of frequencies a while ago because I felt like there was a dead stop um, around, I think it was June or so, that it was like harder and harder to see ahead the frequency of the month coming. Um, it felt like um, we, we needed to start moving with like little micro steps, little baby steps rather than this is your month. Um, but <laughs> it's different now in September. Uh, first of all, September has been very intense in the physical body. The physical body is getting louder and we need to start paying more attention to our physicality because as we receive more and more of who we through we are, the physical body needs to adapt to that, needs to respond, and it's going to maybe be asking for some sort of resources or exercise or just go outside and sit in the sun or just more sleep. And this is difficult. Uh, I did have a few nights that I were like, I slept like a rock. I had one day that was like, 12 hours, I think I slept. Um, but again, last night, no sleep. Um, it's it's just very intense. And I figured last night, I didn't check, but I maybe there was some sort of solar um, activity because sometimes I feel it here in my high heart when uh, there's solar activity. <laughs> so I just touch, I'm like, okay, you know, calm the body, calm the body, this is okay. Just receive it and integrate it, you know, it's all right, take your time and just calm the body because there are so, there's so much coming in that is pushing out whatever we're still holding on. Remember all oh, these months trying to let it go, let it go, don't bring anything from the past, don't bring the story, all of that. So some of us are still holding on to certain relationships, certain stories, I don't know, um, titles, jobs, or because you invested, I don't know, 20 years in this place. There's no way you can let it go, blah, blah. So all this stuff, you know, who are you if you are not the mom, if you are not the teacher, or if you are not the dermatologist, who are you then? You are none of it. You are none of that. Okay, so who were you before you were born? Because you existed and you will exist after you leave this body. Okay, so none of this is you. This is a representation. This is how you came to express your divinity. How, what you see in the mirror is the is divinity in form, okay? The, the physicality of divinity you came to express, but it's not entirely you. You designed this, this is, this is the garden of your soul, but it's not you. So, for people that are still very much attached to the story of who they are, it's becoming very difficult to continue carrying that because that also uh, puts them in a, a, a specific level or pedestal or box. And by doing that, it, it separates them from other people because they are identifying with these labels when moving forward, I feel that things are gonna be uh, more intense. Uh, some of the brothers and sisters of the human collective are in charge of beginning to start to throw um, fear bombs, you know, um, faster and bigger ones so that we get better at identifying this information coming in and you identify, you know, what this is, is this is promoting separation? Is this promoting fear? You know, what do I do with this? And you have a choice as a choice point, but you can always choose again and again. So don't blame yourself. Don't judge yourself if you found yourself recycling fear. You just try again, okay? Um, but to move with most, more grace and ease through the next couple of, uh, you know, the rest of the year, I'm going to say, uh, it doesn't feel that, but it, it feels like right now it is like, uh, more throwing of, um, 
um, blames, a lot of blame and condemnation of people. And that's what we want to stay away from. Anything that promotes separation, we need to stay away from because this is not where we are going. Okay, we are going to, it's this place that we are ready, it's already built and we are anchoring more and more in it. Uh, in this matrix is a place where your singularity, your divinity is very much needed, but you need to work as a collective, as a, as a unit. So to do this, we need to understand that we cannot continue recycling the separation and the fear and to move for the next couple of weeks or months of this um, year, a little bit with more grace and ease, we need to identify where are we not coming in from love, okay? Because you cannot do both. You cannot be recycling fear and coming through love and light. But love and light, you know? You cannot be doing that. You cannot be driving your car and cursing everybody around on the road and but love and light. So it's, you can't have both ways. You have to make a choice, okay? So I ask you to please, so that we can move forward faster, identify what's coming your way and respect everybody's um, truth and accept what everybody is at. They are following their higher guidance as best as they can, just the same way then you are. And they are making their choices just like you are. And as so, you know, we're sovereign beings, we are God selves, we are in charge of our own choice making and our own um, way of sorting out what uh, philosophy we follow, what advice we follow, what, uh, who we're gonna listen to, what kind of music we like, what kind of medical procedure we are going to follow, what we are not gonna follow. And everyone is in charge of their own path that way, as a sovereign being that they are, because if you respect their sovereignty, you're respecting your own. And the more we do this, the more we stand up together as a unit without the separation and the fear in between us, the more, um, the faster we're going to move, the easier this is going to unfold and the quicker we're going to land in a place where we can start building actually the new, um, the new systems, the new systems of financing, of education, medical, you know, healing centers, all of that goodie, uh, all, all that goodness, all that that we have been uh, bringing in through with our imagination and anchoring them, you know, all the peace, all the health, all the wellness, um, all the abundance that we have been bringing in with our imagination, um, not our visualization because that's something else don't do that just use your imagination your holistic organic tool of imagination that we all have and bring in all the goodness okay try to remember your skills you're here for a reason and try to identify when you see a fear bomb coming in or a separation bomb coming in and you identify so you know what that is, you know you're not gonna throw it back. You know you're not gonna recycle it because the more we just stop it, you know, it stops here in not recycling, not blaming, not condemning uh, another human being. Um, that's why we went through this forgiveness portal because we needed to clear all of that so that we can continue to move forward without the luggage of us still having people in the shadows. Uh, remember, a fragment of us has to go to the shadow with whoever we place there. Whoever we're judging, I'm sorry, that's Trigo. Somebody's at the door. 
Uh, if you put somebody, if you're condemning somebody, if you're judging somebody, you have to place that person in the shadows and a fragment of you go with them. So here you are doing all this work to bring yourself all together here, calling in all your fragments, and you still have somebody there in the shadows with a piece of you. So all that was to be taken care of the forgiveness portal. Now the forgiveness portal is still active. It's never going to close because, you know, it's open through time and space, but there was just um, a fluidity uh, through those two, three, two, two and a half weeks, I think it was. Um, that made it easier to clear a lot of stuff. At the end, we were clearing, all, it came, I came in as clearing um, places, uh, places that we have not forgiven. And I know that sounds, um, may sound weird for some people, strange, but um, when I was doing my forgiveness work, uh, actually Guatemala came through. I was a little child, a little girl, when I think it was in 1976, the earthquake. And out of the blue, as I'm doing my forgiveness work, um, a, that place came in, the actual piece of land when we lost that house. And we we were living, we were sleeping in the tent in the middle of the street for a while. Um, I didn't realize I was holding forgiveness for that piece of land, for that ground. So I had to do that. And then other pieces of uh, other places came in, in line. So that's when I say, when you forgive a specific octave of a specific frequency, you getting rid of all of that. So when, uh, for example, when I did that uh, forgiveness work with the piece, the, the earthquake in Guatemala, all of a sudden, all this rush of other places came in as clearing. So I was like, oh, okay. Good, you know, and deep gratitude. So you can continue to do forgiveness work and just forgive everything that comes. You think about what, who else I can forgive now. What can I forgive? Is there a place? Is there a being? Uh, is there a song? <laughs> I don't know, whatever comes and just let it go. But the most important thing right now is to understand that to move through the next couple of weeks or a few months is best to stop condemning uh, and throwing blame, you know, at each other, because that's going to slow us down. And you might feel it's not going to slow me down. I do my meditation and I do, you know, all my chanting and my yoga. But when you do that, you create the waves that just come back to you. Okay. Everything that you f sent out, it just waves and they go and they bring back to you something that matches what you sent out. Um, it's just the way our feel is working. That's why we always receive everything that we need. So when you create these waves, if you stop um, blaming and condemning people because that is the frequency that comes back and that is density that is very slow and heavy and makes things, um, it just slows down everything. And you need to start thinking, uh, we all have to think as a collective now. We need to think as a singularity, a divine self that we are expressing ourselves, members of a collective, a human collective. And to move us faster, we need to start identifying where are we contributing to the separation or to the fear, you know, back and forth. Stop it. And not just stop it. Don't stop it and look at it. Just stop it and just stop it. Turn around and create something good. Create something new. Okay. Bring the frequency that's missing. Be the change that you want to see. So bring that frequency, especially for the empaths. Empaths have been having a hard time. If you haven't figured out that's one of your jobs to identify this is a terrible frequency here, you know, in this room. You need to identify what is the frequency that is missing and bring that forth. So you can always do that if you want to contribute to move the collective faster so that we can start building sooner. Um, stop watching the dismantling. Stop watching the burn and stop watching the flood. Stop watching that. 
begin building, begin creating, okay? Create new. If, if it's not a little, a little tokens at a time, stop putting your attention in the destruction. Put your awareness on the building. Put your awareness on the togetherness and the acceptance. Accept what is, accept your human being, uh, brother and sister, even though they have different truth and different journeys, just accept that that's where they are at and keep moving, okay? Without blaming and condemning, because that's the two two things that I feel are gonna be um, the biggest triggers coming through um, to the point that, you know, some people might really have, um, I don't know, like breakdowns of fear because those, these fear bombs are feels like, like really fast, like they it's, they don't even you know light them up that well. Just go psh, 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 rapid fire, but we are good at that. We're good at identifying you know the whatever comes our way, because we had time all these past months to practice all that. Okay, since January, we are the the training wheels of our um, guidance right. system were taken off. So we have now nine months of using our internal guidance system to navigate so we should be okay just remember you can start over if you didn't do okay now you start over again start over again okay center and align align to the highest your higher levels your higher level possible call in all of your assistance your entourage breathe and as you breathe you connect with the collective and say, here I am, I am present, and I am moving this forward with all of us to create the new, okay? Stop watching the destruction and the collapsing of stuff. So that's what I wanted to say. And um, I'm gonna try to come in again in a couple of weeks be to see how uh, we're doing, but uh, just make sure you identify. Identify what, where is this coming from? Okay, you identify and then you know what to do, okay? Don't open your mouth and start recycling because this is just slowing us down. Please, I beg you, let's get this, let's get through the rest of the year because it, it looks really good if we can just get it a little bit faster, okay? So you can practice, you can put, yeah, if you wanna watch the news or you wanna sit outside, you can practice. You can practice seeing the talking heads and the news. And rather than listening to what they're saying, uh, maybe you can just connect to the person that is talking at a personal level and start looking at them as an, you know, Mr. So-and-so that is an expression of divinity that came in to express himself as this talking head person. And his job is to sit there and throw out this information and to see what happens. That's uh, that's all. And then, you know, just see it as the, his own divinity. And as, as you identify his divinity, you identify your divinity. You know that what he has is what you have. You have the same flame that he has. Even though he might be talking in totally different language than you, it's the same flame in your heart than in his heart. And you can do that as you walk through the street, as you walk the dog, you just see everybody as their own um, divine being inside of them, okay? See behind the eyeballs. <laughs> Don't stop at just listening to their conversation. See each other as their divine self, as their higher self. So that way you start living you as a higher self yourself. Identify them as that, okay? The, the, the more you agree to that, to see everything at their divinity level, the more you start feeling as you embodying your own divinity and the more ease and grace you will feel moving through the uh, the next couple of weeks so i hope that was helpful <laughs> thank you so much for coming with your open heart and open mind um thank you so much for your subscribes your thumbs up and your visits at ishellenergy.com uh we are in uh i think it's 177a Merced street in Hightstown, new jersey and you can just call and um, or text if you need an appointment we are there on tuesdays 
Oh, I say we because I always feel like I'm, I do walk around with many levels. Um, we are there Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays and Sundays. Okay. Um, so just let me know if you need an appointment. Sometimes if you need a quick appointment, a quick, you know, come in with an appointment, let me know because I might be able to see you. Um, we are happy to assist you and support you in your journey there. Thank you so much. Remember, we are the angels. You have your wings ready now, okay? So let's move forward as a divine singularity, part of a human collective. Divine blessings. Namaste.